Well, well, well. Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you. Friday, 14th of September, day after the ECB and the Turkish rate extravaganza. Obviously got paid yesterday in Euro Yen um, through the 129.80 level. Uh, this now looks uh, like it's running into interesting resistance here at the 200 day moving average. 131.08. We'll be very, very interested to see if we can get through that. I'm guessing uh, the first touch at this average area here is a fade. We'll see. Um, we don't have any orders in yet. I'm going to give this a little bit more thought, but um, we'll have to see how that looks. We kind of inched up there to 03, now back at 75. Every chance that uh, we, we revisit this area, and if we do, it looks like to me like it's going to be a fade. And the fade would mean sort of selling anywhere between 05 and 15 with a stop at 35. Cable, more news yesterday. Looked like the Irish border question was settled. Uh, bullish day. Mm. The theme is the same here in cable. Uh, you want to be core long. You want to buy dips. Buying low ones is the safer way to do this. So, like today, you might stick a bid down at 77 and 37. Um, just because... There's a lot of intraday vol in cable. Even though this looks like a pretty straightforward move from 128, it's obviously been incredibly hectic. Um, we certainly have not profited uh, as much as we would have liked at Privateer. So we're trying to buy low ones. Not really our style. Uh, but this looks like the best way to do it in this choppy environment. And of course, this is uh, selling high ones in Euro Sterling and buying low ones in Sterling Swiss. All the same, same trade. Take a quick look. Dollar Swiss. Uh, this is rather interesting here. 96.41. Hard to explain why Dollar Swiss can't get out of its own way, but it just can't. This is very much a line in the sand type of level. 45, uh, the low today so far. 41, the low on September 7th. Below this, which looks also kind of pivoty as well, uh, we, we like to see further downside. This probably means Sterling, uh, Euro Swiss heads a bit lower today as well. So. We don't have, uh, we're not playing in the Euro Swiss, but we are astonished by the down move and a bit worried. Because when Euro Swiss has a move like this, usually bad things are about to happen. We like this Euro Aussie. Um, this is a fade. This is a trendy little fucker. Uh, you see this uptrend, you see this downtrend. You know, this guy is, is, is quite trendy, and so th this is a fade. Um, we didn't have any orders in last night, but uh, 85 the high. We just don't think this is going to trade above 163.40. Uh, or 163.54. So tricky. The risk reward now is a little screwed, uh, fading in here at 50, but we do like fading Euro, uh, Euro Aussie tactically if you see any kind of funny business on the move up. Let's have a look at our intrepid Aussie. Uh, big move through 72 the figure over a week CPI. Uh, this looks like it's going to go sideways now for a couple of days here. But this is still uh, 
contrary to what it has been, a buy on dip. So today you can buy it in the 40s, maybe in the 50s. Kiwi the same. Um, this stuff has turned. We're not expecting any outsized topside move in Kiwi today, uh, but we are buyers on dips. Dollars are almost a very, very interesting day yesterday. Definitely a wipeout on the downside uh, following the Turkish move. Obviously, Turkey raised rates over 600 points, which was an incredibly mature and adult decision by the CBRT. I applaud, uh, I applaud their efforts there as much as I think they're a bunch of clowns. Uh, really caught the market off guard and pushed dollar turkey all the way down close to six. The problem with this now is you, when you raise 600 points uh, and you do it without conviction, your prime minister comes on and says we should be lowering rates, not raising rates. Um, this creates anger and confusion in the population and an inevitable recession is on the cards in Turkey so uh, we don't trade dollar turkey too much but if we did we would certainly be buyers of dollar turkey which is quite unusual um, after a big rate rise usually currencies appreciate God bless them it did appreciate yesterday you can see this bar is very powerful but the fact that there are a bunch of clowns running this country um, and they really have uh, no long-term strategic clue um, we are sellers of TRY selectively so perhaps 590 between 590 and 570 you might want to strap on some dollar try longs we play around more in dollars are. Um, yesterday we had tiny on at 90 going into the CBRT. Obviously reducing risk going into these big events. Uh, we were lucky enough to pay 64s. It was a little bit dicey down there. We we're feeling a little bit of a uh, little bit of stress. Averaged our way into a pretty good position now, um, right around 76. Um, we need this to not make a new low today so we gotta kill this idea below 1460 uh, even though you could argue that this is pretty good support 1450 um, we're long dollars are but now the kill switch is uh, through 60 we're looking for a green bar today after one two three four five six reds um, you see this trend line it's kind of relevant Be interesting uh, when these when price meets this line eventually uh, but this is also something that uh, we're working on all right I have said enough for now uh, watch this dollar Swiss level and buying Aussie and Kiwi on dips selling your Aussie selectively and Watching Euro Yen, uh, but that 200 day, 131.08. Good luck, people.